What are you doing? Leaving. Give you some space to think. I don't need space to think. <laughs> I think you do. Well, how long are you going for? I don't know. What, like 10 minutes, 10 years? Well, obviously not 10, 10 years. 10 years, no, but I... When am I going to see you again? Why don't you let me know when you're ready to be honest with me? Well, that's Jess for you. Always overreacting. Why are relationships so difficult? Why did I kick the Brabantia pin? Adulthood is a nightmare. Everything used to be so much easier. First love was so much easier. Katie McAleer. She came into focus like a JPEG loading by 56K dial-up making spikes of desire surge through the membrane of my innocence like a first wisdom tooth breaking a gum. She was utterly my type, which is to say she was more attractive than me. <clears throat> Hi, I, uh, I think we're working together. All right. So what school do you go to? Gaffer. You? Rothwell. Never met anyone from Rothwell before. Why would I have done it? It was three miles away. So what is it we've got to do again? Write one side of A4, describing the auction wars in a positive light. Positive light? How sad is that? This is the setting of Wuthering Heights. Savage nature. Gothic romance. Yeah. Have you actually read Wuthering Heights? Of course, haven't you? N yeah, of course I have. What's your favourite part? Of the book? Um, so many bits to choose from in there. It's, it's probably just the, all the wuthering. That's so funny. Is it? <laughs> the wuthering. I actually prefer the heights. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'd better get on with this nonsense. Tell you what, let's not describe Mars in a positive light. Let's describe them in their true light. Yeah. Dark light. Nice oxymoron. So how about under the brooding skies, the moors stretch out like a violent sea of malign feeling? Nice. Katie and I were kept behind because our work apparently showed... A morbid disrespect for the perfect beauty of Yorkshire. So, we had to sit and rewrite while everybody else went to play rounders. But we didn't care, because we knew really that we were the young, gifted and talentedest in the entire funding district. When we get back to what, I mean, Which will involve, because the concept of a date doesn't really exist for people this age, just meeting up near one of our houses and walking around and talking and laughing about things which we won't really be able to remember the substance of in 15 years' time. Yeah. Good. Nice one. By which I meant I love you. Or at least because up to this point I'd never loved anyone who wasn't a blood relation or an animal. I think I have the potential to love you. When I got back from Young, Gifted and Talented, or YGT, I had not only a taxpayer subsidy improved aptitude for metaphor and simile, but more importantly, a new use for my mobile phone. A device whose sole purpose up to then had been to inform my parents that I'd be slightly late for tea, now became something much more significant. A-H-I-U, I'm proper missing YGT. Form is boring. I wouldn't really speak my texts aloud as I wrote them like this, but it just helps with the storytelling. Hey, Mum, can we please have chicken Kievs for All right, that's boring. Let's move on with the story. And when credit ran out, there was always MSM Messenger, on which Katie, a.k.a. Crazy in Love Katie, and me, a.k.a. Liam is Cool 254 Weed, spent hours talking. In some ways, it was like the opposite of texting, entailing not a sparse economy of contact, but a kind of limitless space in which to self-disclose. You could be occupied like this for hours, unless somebody needed to use the house phone. Need to call you Nana. Don't worry, son. Broadband in three years. Before long, I began to understand a little better what had happened to Ralph. 
I'd cut down on the weed and soon saw the benefits of EG, being able to breathe properly and not stinking all the time and being able to get through an entire day without hearing weird demon voices in my head. I felt happy. What are you thinking? I was thinking about Wuthering Heights and, and how in chapter nine, when, when Kathy says, I have dreamt in my life dreams that have stayed with me ever after and, and changed my ideas and have gone through and through me. And I, I was just thinking, being with you, it, it, it's like a dream to me. And that I'll always remember. Yeah. You've only just read that book to impress me, haven't you? <laughs> no. You can't lie at all, can you? It's not a lie. I'm Shut up. I'm